Welcome back to Know How Right Now. Let's work on some decimals today. Maybe it's been a long time since you've done some decimal multiplication, uh, but let's let's refresh your memories. Um, it's it's quite simple once you get the hang of it. You know, this may be your first time even learning it. So I'm gonna try to sort of take it step by step here. All right. Let's say we have uh, let's say we have a couple of numbers that we have to uh, multiply. We have 0 0.04, or let's just say we have 0 0.04 squared. What does that mean? 0 0.04 squared means 0 0.04 times 0 0.04. Hmm. Hope you can see that actually. It looks kind of small from where I'm at. Hold on, I'm gonna, let me make that bigger really quick. Point zero four times point zero four. All right. So what's point zero four times point zero four? Well, the first thing I want to do is I actually want to I want to take these decimal uh, points here and I want to move them over one two places. So I want my decimal point to be right there and one two places. So how many times did I move my decimal over all together? Well, I moved it over one two, three, four times. That's how many times I moved the decimal over so that I can write it like like this. This is basically all it's saying. Because here are the decimal points right here now, right? Which just means, really means four, right? So now I'm just multiplying four times four. What's four times four? Well, four times four is simple, right? It's 16. So now what am I going to do? Well, I moved the decimal uh, point uh, over four times, and it was right here when I did that. So I moved it over four times, and it's right here. And I'm going to move it back over four times. So I moved it to the right four times, and I'm going to move it back to the left four times. So one, one, two, three, four. Now, wherever you see these little, these little dips here, I'm going to add a zero. So this is where my decimal point should be now. So my final answer is 0 0.0016, or 1.6 times 10 to the negative 3, if you want to do it in scientific notation. So uh, that, that example is kind of easy. Uh, let's, let's get to one that's a little more involved. Let's try... Uh, Let's try something like uh, some random numbers. About 3.54 times uh, 3.54 times 2.18. Okay. My first step is I want to take the decimals and I want to move it to the right. That's what I'm going to do. 1, 2, 3, 4. So now my new decimal place actually point goes right here, right? So this is where my new decimal point goes, which really just means 354 times 218, right? So I can just get rid of that. But just remember that I moved it over four times. So now let's go ahead and uh, get through with the, the multiplication. Uh, 8 times 4 is 32, so 2, carry over the 3. 8 times 5 is 40, plus 3, that's 3, 4. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 4, that's 28. Don't forget to add your zero here when we move to the next number. So zero, one times four is four, one times five is five, one times three is three. And then I got, I'm going to the next number now, so zero, zero. And two times four is eight, two times five is ten, two times three is six, plus seven. Now I'm going to go ahead and add all these together. I got zero, seven, eight plus eight, sixteen, plus five is twenty-one, one, two, two, plus two is four plus 3 is 7, and then this is just 7 plus 0 is 7. Now we're almost done, because we moved over the, the, the decimal place 1, 2, 3, 4 times, so now the decimal place is actually right here, so let's move it back over 1, 2, 3, 4 times. So my final answer is 7.7170.
And that's it. That's, that's really all there is to decimal places. Your first thing is move it over to the right. Move these decimal places over to the right. And that way you're messing with the uh, uh, whole numbers, basically. And from there, you're going to go ahead and, uh, once, you're done, uh, once you're done with your answer here, we're going to take that decimal place and we're going to move it back to the left. So move it to the right at first. Move it to the left at the end. Okay? So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, just post them below. Uh, thank you for joining me.